This is a full movie of my craziest mob battles of all time. Stick to the end to see the craziest bosses ever. Enjoy! Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we're in the mob mashup dimension. And little does my friend Smokey know that I'm secretly cheating with a one-way glass wall. I'll be able to see whatever mobs he spawns and place the exact counters. Anyway, Smokey, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, and I'm totally totally gonna destroy you! Wait, but why are my villagers dying? Smirky, you are so silly. We are in the mob mashup dimension. If you want to spot in two normal mobs, you need to throw a merge potion onto it like this to combine them into one. Whoa, okay, that's really cool. I guess now I'm ready. All right, then. Let the mob battle begin. And there we go. As you guys just saw, this merge potion can do some insane stuff. There's literally infinite combinations to make insane opens bosses. But anyway, since we're cheating with this one-way glass, I think we should just start off by seeing what Sparky's gonna spawn in. And wait, what is he doing? Why is he placing diamonds in the sky? And what on earth? Did he just place a horse on top? And wait, he's holding the merge potion. Wait, what on earth is a diamond and a horse gonna turn into? Well, maybe it'll turn into some sort of diamond horse? I, I have no idea. Let's just see. And he's throwing the potions. And wait, what the heck is that? That actually just turned into a diamond or a horse what on earth is that it's literally made out of stone and it has like diamonds floating around it and it even has some crazy antlers this thing probably has insane attacks and i can't believe that actually worked but anyways since smirky spawned in his first combination i need to get straight to my first combination and i think i have the perfect counter to eat that horse whole so i've got two different mobs that are literally complete opposites this is the sea devil he lives at the bottom of the ocean and this is the strider he literally lives in the nether and when I combine them, it should create a super OP boss. So let's just go. And wait, did that actually work? Wait, look at this thing. This thing is insane looking. So I guess it combined the body of the strider and it combined the sea devil's mouth and the little antenna thing on the top to create this monstrosity of a monster. Like, look at this thing. His mouth is huge. Wait, let's just compare this guy next to the sea devil monster. And wait, wait, is he eating the sea monster? Hey, hey, get out gonna compare you guys. I guess this guy is just so OP that he'll literally eat any mob that I place near him. And oh my gosh, he just ate that guy too. You need to relax, mister. You are so OP. Wait, I gotta see that again. Just eat more of these mobs. It's so funny. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, since this guy is so good, I need to just go over here and we're gonna spawn in another one. Okay, I think we're far enough away so he will not eat the mobs. And let's just spawn them in and throw the potion. And boom, there we go. We got another one. So I'm just gonna do that a few more times until we have a bunch of these guys. And here we go. There is literally like 10 of these guys. And oh my gosh, look at how many of these diamond horses Smirky spawned in. This is so many, but the good thing is my guys should be able to eat them all whole and just completely obliterate them. This is gonna be the easiest round of a mob battle ever. And anyway, Smirky, is your mob army done? Yes, my mob army is complete. Uh, wait, your mob army is complete, Smirky? Wait, what two things did you combine? Could you tell me? Um, uh, well, I, I'll i give you a little bit of a hint, Cardi. I spawned in a pretty normal mob, honestly. And I spawned in a very rare block. And then I combined them both. Wow, that sounds super cool, Smirky. But I think I know exactly what you spawned. I bet you spawned some sort of, like, diamond horse or something like that. A, a diamond horse? Okay, how did you even get that from me saying that I spawned in something really common and something really rare? Uh, I guess I just took a really good guess. I, I don't really know. No, Smirky, anyways, you ready to drop the walls? I guess I am. That's weird you guessed that still. Whatever. All right, let's drop them in. Three, two, one, and here we go. Gordy, what is this? What are these mobs? Can they literally eat my monster's hole? Yes, they can, Smirky. They have huge mouths, and I think your monsters are literally making this little ice thing, but it's just helping my monsters because it shields them from the environment. Are you kidding me? That's so dumb. My other mobs don't even know where these guys are. They're trying to get in the box, but they can't. I know. Let's go. These guys are actually insane. Like, look at over here. All of your mobs are just dying. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. But, Cardi, this kind of sucks because your mobs, once they kill all the my mobs in their hole, they're kind of stuck in this ice box, you know? Ah, uh, Smirky, are you sure about that? I think all the ice just broke and now they're going to eat even more of your monsters. What the heck? 
And it literally fell. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I guess we aren't in like a snow biome or anything. And the sun is literally out over there. So these guys aren't gonna last in the ice very long. Ah, uh, yes, Rick. Yeah, I don't really think it matters. Let's go because my guys are just finishing off your last ones. Like, look at this horse. He is stuck in the mouth of my monster. And oh, he's dead. Oh my gosh, this is insane. What the heck? And I think you only have one monster left. I kind of see his head poking through this ice. And wait a second, I think he just died. No! Okay, I can't even use this ice ability to kill the rest of your monsters. What the heck? Come on, let's go. That was so easy. And anyways, let's just reset the arena. And here we go. We just reset the arena and I'm excited to get onto this next round. But do not leave yet because the mobs are only just getting started. We have some insane combinations. But anyways, let's just start off by cheating with this one-way glass like we always do. Smirky, what are you spotting in today? And wait a second, is he just spotting it in? Iron Golem? Wait, what other mob is he gonna spot in? Wait, he's spotting an Enderman! And the Iron Golem just killed the Enderman. That was pretty funny. If Smirky wants to combine those two mobs, he's gonna have to spot them super fast and then throw this merge potion onto them. And I think he's about to do it. Let's see if he actually can pull this off. And okay, he's throwing the potions and wait! It actually worked! Look at that! That Enderman, I guess, fused with the Iron Golem to create this monstrosity. Like, what even is this? It made that Iron Golem a thousand times more powerful and made, like, ender fluid run through its body? What is that purple stuff? That is crazy. But since Smirky has some insane bosses, we need to make an exact counter to them. So let's go! So what I'm thinking is, what if we spotted these exact mobs that Smirky has? So we spotted the iron golem and the enderman, and then we throw the potion. Boom, there we go. And oh my gosh, this guy is just as cool as Smirky's mobs. But then after I have this guy, what if we combined him with another mob to create the ultimate ender golem? And I'm just gonna combine them with a shulker box just like that. Okay, so we got both of these guys right here, and I wonder what this is going to turn into. This is going to create something insane, I bet. So everyone stand back, and I'm just gonna throw the potion. And oh my gosh, look at this thing. Okay, that definitely created the most overpowered ender golem ever. Because just take a look at this guy. He is huge. And his head is literally made out of a shulker box, and the rest of his body is just made out of a bunch of end blocks, like end stone and obsidian. Oh my gosh, this guy is not gonna die at all. And just to test how powerful my guy is compared to Smirky's mob, I spotted another one of his. So I'm gonna set this guy on a team, and then I'm gonna set this guy on a team, and let's see the fight. And wait, what is my guy doing? Is he gonna do anything? And wait, did he just one-shot that thing, and he's literally making it fly? What? That was so insane, and now he's just walking away because he know he won. And anyways, Smirky, how is your mob army going today. My mob army is going perfectly. I spotted something really, really good this time. Oh, you did actually spot something really good, Smirky. I can hear, like, super crazy golems on your side. How can you even tell they're golems? Oh, wait, I probably should have told you they were golems, but you don't know what kind of golem it is. Uh, yeah, I do, Smirky. I can hear that it's an ender golem. How do you hear, Cardi? There is a giant bedrock wall. Oh, yeah, there is a giant bedrock wall. Well, I forgot about that. And anyway, Smirky, are you ready to drop the walls? Uh, yes, of course I am. All right, then let's go. And it looks like all your golems are waking up. I wonder what kind of things they're gonna do to my giant Ender Guardian. But what the heck is this? This is literally what I spawned in, but 10 times better. I know, Smirky, and I'm pretty sure it'll be able to one-shot your mobs. And wait, look at this. All of your mobs are just already dying. This is so funny. Uh-oh, this isn't good, Cardi. No. Yes, this is actually really good, Smirky, because look at my guy. He doesn't even need to attack because he's not losing any health. Oh my gosh, what the heck? And it looks like he's punching again, and oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure with every time he swings his hand, he probably kills like three of your mobs. Yep, look at that. And he's even making them fly. This is going to be so easy. How on earth did I just spot a better version of your mob? I don't know how you spotted a better version of my mob, but it must be a weird coincidence that I can literally one-tap all of mine. I know, and oh, uh, Smirky, you have one left, and wait, 
Your last one just died. Let's go. What the heck? And they're even dropping their cores on the ground, which allow them to do that attack. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess that means I am the golem ruler. I am so good at choosing mobs for mob pals. And anyways, are you ready to reset the arena? Yes, I am. And here we go. Once again, I have reset the arena. Let's just move straight on to this next round. But do not leave yet because the mobs are literally just getting started. I have even crazier mobs. But anyways, what? Is Smirky gonna spot in this round? And wait, did Smirky just spot in a villager? What other thing is he gonna combine with this? And oh my gosh, did he just spot a giant zombie right next to that villager? Wait, what on earth is this gonna combine into? I have no idea, but I guess we're just gonna have to see. And it looks like Smirky's gonna throw the potions! And oh my gosh, look at this thing! I guess it turned that giant zombie into, like, half villager, and I'm pretty sure this is, like, a cyclops. It only has one eye, I'm pretty sure, and this thing is just insane looking. And, oh, wait, it looks like it's chasing Smarky. Wait, what is it gonna do? And it just picked him up, and it's literally eating him. Oh, my gosh. That was so funny. And, oh, okay, I think we just gotta place our mob now. So, this time, I have a super crazy combination of mobs. And you know how Smarky spotted a villager to get those things? Well, I'm gonna spot a villager, too, but I'm gonna come bite it with a rattlesnake and uh yeah i mean i guess this probably doesn't look that cool but trust me it is gonna be really cool so mr villager you need to come back here because i need to throw this merge potion onto you guys so i'm just gonna throw it on you first and then i'm going to throw it on you and boom and wait i'm just looking at the floor right now and i see a massive snake tail i wonder what it's gonna look like when i look up and i'm actually kind of scared to see this and oh my gosh, what is this? I think he turned it into a Medusa mob. If you don't know what a Medusa is, well, basically it has snakes as hair and it even has a snake tail. But what makes this mob so powerful is its ability to turn anything into stone. So for example, if I get a zombie and I spot it right next to it, it should actually turn this into stone. And yup, look at that. It just turned into stone. Uh, Mr. Zombie, are you trapped in there? I think he is. And now you can easily finish off the zombie by just mining it with a pickaxe and there we go so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have this snake lady destroy all of these giant cyclops smirky has and then i'm just gonna mine them with this pickaxe and it's gonna be so funny and smirky i think my mob army is 100 complete what about yours oh my army is also 100 complete and i am ready oh you're ready okay that's right yeah i guess we can just drop the walls right now and here we go look at what i spotted and uh wait smirky oh uh, what what the heck is this thing? It's literally shrinking my mobs and turning it into stone. But what the heck is it? Smirky, this is a villager combined with a rattlesnake. And uh, it was just getting picked up. But what just happened? It just turned all of your mobs into these tiny little stone statues. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay. Well, if they're stone guardy, I think I need to grab a pickaxe and one mine them out. Come on. Come on. No, come Smirky, on. that is not going to work at all. If you mine them with a pickaxe, that actually just kills them. What? No way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's impossible for you to win at this point. I guess I'll just mine your statues, and I think that means I just won this round. What the heck? And oh my gosh, what? How did you also combine something with a villager? Oh, that is a super crazy coincidence, and uh, I guess we just need to reset the arena. You don't need to worry about it. Here, just take your mob and let's go. Okay. Okay, here we go. I just reset the arena. But I think Smirky might be catching on a little bit that we are secretly cheating. So I gotta be very careful. But don't worry, because I'm still gonna spawn in insane mobs. And anyways, what is Smirky gonna spawn in? And it looks like he's placing a red sandstone in the air. And wait, he just placed a giant zombie on top of it. Wait, so I think he's trying to do the first thing he did at the start of the mob battle. Remember how he placed a diamond ore and then a horse on top of it to create a crazy monster? Well, I think he's doing the same exact thing, but he's gonna combine this red sandstone block with a zombie to create a... Uh, I don't really know. A sand zombie? I don't have any idea. But I guess we're just gonna have to see. And he's throwing the potion. And wait, what? That actually worked? That zombie just turned into, I mean, I guess a sandstone zombie? What? I think the sandstone literally fused with the zombie to create an outer shell around it and make it have some super OP sandstone armor. This thing is going to be almost impossible to kill, but I think I have a perfect counter for it. So since Smirky combined a mob with a block, I want to do 
the same exact thing. I'm gonna place this block and then place a mushroom on top. And then I'm just gonna grow the mushroom with this bone meal to create a giant mushroom. And now I'm just gonna make a little spot and I'm just gonna spot a creeper in this little box right here, just like that. So if this merge potion does its job correctly, this thing should turn into some super crazy mushroom creeper. And I don't know about you, a mushroom creeper sounds like it could definitely destroy a sandstone zombie. So Mr. Creeper, are you ready to turn into something truly OP? Let's go! And oh my gosh, what did this turn into? I'm just gonna look down and what is this? I think it actually did it and oh my gosh, look, it actually has a creeper face. And it even has four legs. This thing probably has insane attacks. I actually have to see this for myself. I'm just gonna go in survival mode and mister, what are you going to do? It looks like he shoots out these little green things and what do they do? And when they explode! I think that's the creeper's ability and that's why they're green. But I wonder what kind of abilities the mushroom has. Wait, if I get close to it, what happens? And what? It just poisoned me and I'm bouncing on top of it. Now, wait, am I gonna die? I think I'm definitely gonna die because if I fall, I take fall damage and oh, I, I just died. This guy should definitely do the trick. And I also spawned in two more just to be a little bit more safe. And anyway, Smirky, what did you spot in? Can you tell me, please? Why would I tell you? You're just gonna get a mob that's gonna completely destroy it once again. Uh, yeah, Smirky, uh, I definitely haven't already done that. And anyways, I ain't ready to drop the walls. Wait, how have you already done that? Okay, whatever. Let's just drop the walls. All right, here we go. And do you see the mobs I spotted? I spotted mushroom creepers. What the heck are these things? Look at them. They're completely destroying your zombies, but I think one of them died. Hopefully, no more die. And, um, Gordy, all my guys are dying, actually. I know, and... Oh, wait, Smirky. That was probably one of the fastest mob battles ever. All your sand Stone zombies just died so fast. Oh my gosh, you're right. They did all die so fast. And look at all of these little green TNTs everywhere. This this just proves that I spawned in the way better mob once again. How did you spawn in a way better mob once again? And uh, my mobs didn't even last 10 seconds, Cardi. I know. And next round is also the final round. So that means if you don't win, I am going to completely win the mob battle. Oh, okay. Well, I definitely will win, Cardi. Okay, let's Let's see about that. And here we go. I have just reset the arena for the final time. And I have my craziest mob yet this round. But anyways, let's not waste any time. And let's just see what Smirky's gonna spawn. And Smirky's spotting in another zombie. He keeps spotting in zombies. This is crazy. But wait, wait. Did he just spot in two zombies? Wait, what on earth is he thinking? I guess if he spots in two of the same mob, I guess they might combine it. Wait, he's combining them. And what? That actually worked? Look at this thing. Those two zombies. Zombies just combined into one. And now they have like a thousand arms and a bunch of swords. These things are scary. So we need to spot in a perfect counter to these guys. And anyways, let's go on my side. And I have my two mobs right here. And since Smirky spotted a zombie, I'm gonna spawn the exact opposite, which is a skeleton. And not only that, I'm also gonna spawn in an eye wizard. So this should combine this skeleton and the eye wizard to make a crazy wizard skeleton. So guys, are you ready to combine? Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go. And oh my gosh, it actually worked. Look at this. This wizard has like a wand and it even has a bunch of shields spinning around it. This is epic. I'm just spinning around in circles following these shields. This is insane and super overpowered. This guy has to have some crazy attacks or else I don't know what does. And anyways, let's just ask you, Smirky's ready. Smirky, are you ready? Yes, I am. And all my moms are chasing me, Cardi. Oh my gosh, Smirky, what are you doing? You are so silly, and I uh, just ready to drop the walls. I think you're gonna die before any of my mobs do. Um, no, I definitely won't, but yes, I am ready to drop the walls. All right, then let's go, and do you see the giant twilight wizard skeleton I spawned in? Oh, yes, I do, and what the heck is that? And, uh, Smirky, you probably want to bring your mobs over here, and I don't think you're gonna win, because my guy is insane, and he literally just teleported. Okay, mob already, come on, we're gonna go get him. Come on, let's Let's go. Uh, Smirky, what do you mean you're gonna get them? Because my guy's just blowing up all of your double zombies. Uh, okay. Well, that's not good. Maybe I just gotta go and attack him. Come on, Mob Army. Let's go. Oh my gosh. You're like leading your Mob Army into battle, but I don't think that's gonna work because I think all of your mobs are just gonna die. Oh no, that's not good. But where is the real one? There's like five or six Twilight liches around. Yeah, I know there is, Smirky. 
Yeah, I think my guy can literally duplicate into these tiny little versions, and I don't think your mom stand a chance. What the heck? Come on, moms. We should attack them. And where is the real one? And, uh, Smirky, did all of your moms just die? Is it because of this guy? Are you kidding me? No, Smirky. I think it's because of my giant guy over here. I think he sent a giant fireball to all your moms who just instantly killed them all. No way. Okay, that's kind of crazy. I'm surprised it did that. Yeah, Smirky. And you know what that means? I just completely won the mob battle. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, that was fun. But I got completely destroyed. Don't leave, guys, because the next mob battle is even more insane. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we're the elemental dimension. And little does my friend Smirky know that I'm secretly cheating with this one-way glass wall. Meaning I'll be able to see whatever mob she spawns. And spawn the exact counters. Anyway, Smirky, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, Cordy, and I'm totally gonna destroy you. Wait, but why are my wolves dying? What the heck? Smirky, you are so silly. We are in the elemental dimension. If you want to spawn in a normal mob, you need to throw one of the four elemental potions onto it just like this to turn it into its elemental variant. Oh my gosh, Cordy, these mobs are gonna be insane. Well, I guess not. Now I am ready. All right, then let the mob battle begin. And there we go. As you saw, each of these potions are so powerful and can make infinite combinations of OP elemental bosses. This is gonna be so cool. But since we have this massive one-way glass wall, let's just start by cheating and seeing exactly what Smirky is going to spawn in and what is he choosing today. And wait, he's just spawning in a bunch of zombies. And wait, what potion is he holding? Wait, let me get a better look at this. And wait a second, I think that's the wind potion. So what the wind potion actually does is it makes any mob into its flying variant. And it will literally be able to fly up above the wind. And it is so cool. So let me take a guess of what zombies are going to turn into. Maybe they'll turn into like some sort of zombie bird or some sort of zombie dragon. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. But let's see what they're actually going to turn into. And he's throwing the potions. And wait, look, I was right. They actually turned into these zombie dragons. These things are insane looking. And wait, look, I think they're attacking Sparky. This is so funny. Look, they even like spit out this acid stuff. These guys are insane. And since those things are so cool, we are going to need an even more powerful elemental mob for our team. And I think I have the perfect idea. With this earth potion, we can turn any mob into its earth variant. And that basically means they're gonna have tons of crazy earth attacks with stone, dirt, and just all sorts of attacks. It is so cool. And it might not sound that cool, but I just gotta show you. So I'm gonna grab a villager just like this. And normally villagers are a peaceful mob and they do not do any damage. Well, that's about to change when I throw this earth potion on it. So, Mr. Villager, are you ready for this? Well, it doesn't even matter because I'm just gonna throw it. And boom. Wait, what on earth is this thing? The villager turned into this snake lady. What? It even has snakes as hair. Oh my gosh, this thing is insane. But what on earth is this supposed to do? I guess this is a pretty cool earth mob, but what kind of attacks does it have? So, I got this zombie spotting and I guess I'm just gonna spot it right next to it just like this. And, uh, wait, what's gonna happen? Wait, Wait, what? Did this lady just turn the zombie into stone? Wait, I gotta see that again. Mr. Snake Lady turned these zombies to stone. And wait, I think she's actually doing it. Look at her. All these zombies are turning to stone right in front of my eyes. This is actually insane. Like this guy's stone, that guy's stone, and even this guy's stone. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, zombies. You are never coming back to life. I just gotta mine these guys out of my arena now with a pickaxe because they are going to get in the way of the mob battle. I'm sorry, zombies. You, you did a good job of testing how old OP my mob was. And as you can see, this snake lady is super duper OP. And it should be able to turn all of these dragons Smirky has right into a bunch of stone. This is gonna be so cool. I can't wait to win this mob battle. And anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? My mob army is going really, 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 really good. Wait, Smirky, what did you spot in? Could you tell me what potion you used? I'm just really curious. Um, okay, well, if you don't get the mob right, I will tell you what potion I used, and I'm just gonna tell you I did the wind potion. It was so cool. Wait, really, Smirky? You used the wind potion? That means that you could make any mob turn into its flying variant. So did you, like, turn a mob into, like, some sort of bird or dragon? Uh, maybe, but it's way cooler than both of those because it's not just any normal 
animal, bird, or dragon. It has some special attacks. Oh, that is insane, Smirky. Well, I use the Earth Potion, and I'm pretty sure the Earth Potion is the exact counter to the Wind Potion, so that's actually pretty bad for you. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, well, my mobs will just fly above your mobs because your mobs will suck. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Oh, we'll see. Let's just drop the walls. And boom! Here we go. The battle has begun, and oh my gosh, wait, look at your mobs. They're all turning to stone right now. Yeah, they are. Wait, they can do that? No, wait, is that one of their attacks, or is that your mom's attack? That is my mom's attack, Smirky. Anytime your dragons get too close to it, it will literally turn them to stone like these poor little dragons. Bruh, are you kidding me? No way. Come on, Mr. Snake Lady. You gotta turn more dragons to stone. You're not doing enough damage right now. Okay, well, this might be good for me because I think if my moms stay up in the air and do their long-range attacks, they should be able to kill your mom. I mean, that should be how it works, right? Uh, maybe, Smirky. But I'm pretty sure my mom also has a healing attack, meaning it basically cannot die, which is so good. No way. How does the healing attack work? Does it heal from the mobs that turn into stone? I think so, Smirky, and oh my gosh. And I'm literally just gonna mine these stone statues of your mobs to completely finish them off. Let's go! And wait, it's, it's turning even more of your dragons to stone. Okay, I'm just gonna mine all of these up. No! No way. You can literally mine them with a pickaxe. You shouldn't be able to kill them with a pickaxe. Why do they even turn to cobblestone, Cardi? Let's go! And boom, it just turned your last one into stone. You don't have any more dragons. No way, Cardi. How are they literally turning into stone? This is so unfair. Oh, I know it's unfair, Smirky. My mom is just so good. And I'm just gonna mine this and we can reset the arena. I just won the first round. Oh my gosh. How did you win the first round so easily? I swear it wasn't even a challenge for you. Oh, you don't even need to worry about it. Let's reset the arena. And here we go. We are now on to the second round. But do not leave yet because some of these potions I'm gonna use are gonna make the mob so insane and you're going to have to see it. And anyways, let's just see what Smirky's gonna spot in. And wait a second. Did he just spot in a massive iguana king? Oh my gosh. This thing is so big and so poisonous. That is insane. But wait a second. I just remembered about each of these potions. What kind of potion is Smirky gonna throw on it? And wait a second. It looks like he's holding the fire potion. That means when he throws it on this, it should turn into some sort of fire mob. But I am pretty scared to see this. So I guess let's just see it. And he's throwing the potions. And oh my gosh. Look at what it turned into. It turned that iguana king into some sort of fire nether iguana king. Oh my gosh. This thing is way scarier. Because look at it walking. It literally is walking so slow because it is so big and so powerful. But it's a good thing that I can actually see this with this one-way glass wall because fire actually has one really big weakness. And fire's biggest weakness is actually water. So I need to spot in a water elemental mob. So I'm wondering what kind of mob should I grab? Uh, I, I guess I'll just choose a random mob. And I'm just gonna choose this one. And wait, I got a grizzly bear. Wait, let me spot this guy in. And oh my gosh, he is so cool looking. Hello, Mr. Grizzly Bear. And like I said, we need to throw a water potion on this guy. But before I throw the water potion, I just want to make this guy comfortable. And I'm just gonna put a bunch of water everywhere so he'll be really suited to the environment when I throw the potion. So, Mr. Grizzly Bear, I'm just gonna throw the water potion right now. And what? Wait, what? That actually worked? Look at this thing. I guess when you throw a water potion on top of a grizzly bear, it turns it into this monstrosity. This is the ocean god boss, and he literally even has a trident on his head because that is just to show that he is the leader of everything ocean related. And wait, look at this guy. He's literally just making giant spheres of water. Oh my gosh, this is insane. He's literally creating an ocean around the arena. What? Okay, this should definitely be good enough. And now he's just bouncing up and down in the water. Oh my gosh, this is epic. This guy is definitely gonna be able to put out the fire that is Smirky's giant Fire Lizard King. So, Smirky, are you ready for this mob battle? Yes, I am. And I made a super duper powerful mob. Wait, what is the powerful mob you spawned in? Wait, can you tell me the potion you used again? Okay, I'm not gonna tell you what I originally started with, but it 
was a fire potion. Wait, Smirky, you used a fire potion? That is super crazy because do you know the exact counter to fire potions? Um, is it a air potion? No, no Smirky, it's a water potion and I actually used the water potion, meaning I spawned in another exact counter. Oh, no, not again. Okay, well, you're not gonna win this round because I made sure this mob was really strong. Uh, okay, Smirky, I guess we're just gonna have to see. Let's drop the walls. And the boom, I dropped the walls and do you see the boss that I spawned in? Oh my gosh, what the heck is this thing? Is this some kind of like frog? Uh, I guess it kind of does look like a frog, but no, this is the ocean god and he is just chilling in his water and he is ready to kill your giant fire mob. Um, I don't think my fire mob wants to get anywhere near the water, Cardi. Yeah, that makes sense because fire's biggest weakness is water and if he goes in here, he's gonna become super weak and take a bunch of damage, but I I think he's gonna come anyways. And just like that, I was right. And look at this, Smirky. The battle is starting. What the heck? It is starting. Oh my gosh. Why did my fire mob go in the water? That is a horrible idea. And oh. My gosh, Cardi. Wait, what just happened? That was so fast. Lynn, look at my ocean god. He's just standing up and he has this massive yellow eye and I think he just became super powerful. Oh no, how did it become so powerful? Is that why it died in literally one second? Yeah, and I think that the fire on your mob literally got put out too. That was just really embarrassing for you. You need to spawn in a way better mob next time. A way better mob? Wait, that gives me an idea, Cardi. I know exactly what what I'm gonna do. All right, let's reset the arena. And here we go. Round three has officially begun. And once again, do not leave because the mobs are just getting started. They're about to get so crazy. But if you remember, Smirky said he was gonna spot in something super good for this round. So let's see what he's spotting in and what on earth. He's just spotting in zombies. There is no way these zombies turn into something good. But what potion is he holding? It looks like he's holding the earth potion. Look at that. As you can see, it's a little bit brown. And when he throws that earth potion on these zombies, zombies, they are probably gonna turn into... Uh, I, I don't really know, actually. What does an earth zombie look like? I, I, I really don't know. Okay, and it looks like he's throwing the potion, so let's see. And oh my gosh, these things turned into earth zombies! And I guess this is what an earth zombie looks like. I guess it's just a giant Bigfoot monster. I guess that actually does kind of make sense. These guys live amongst the earth in the forest, and they probably have insane attacks, so I need to make a really good counter to these guys. And I think it'd be really cool if I did an earth mob too. Like, what kind of earth mob should I spawn, though? But instead of spawning in a mob and throwing the earth potion on it, what if I spawn in a block and throw the earth potion on it? Then it will create some super crazy earth monster thing. I, I don't really know. We're just gonna have to see. Let me just choose a completely random block, and I'm gonna choose this one. And wait, did I just pick up vines? How on earth is vines supposed to turn into a really OP boss? I don't even know at all. But I think we need to just throw this earth potion on this vines block right here. So I I'm just gonna throw it in three, two, one. Let's go! And wait a second, this actually worked. It spotted some sort of vine boss. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, this is more insane than I thought it was gonna be. It turned that vine block into some sort of vine monster with this giant mouth in the middle. And I'm pretty sure all of these little tentacle things coming out of it can pick up the Bigfoot monster Smirky spawned in and bring it into the mouth to eat them. So this should be really good. Wait, let's actually test this out. And I'm just gonna go to survival mode near this thing. And, uh, wait, hello, mister. Are you actually gonna eat me? It's not picking me up yet. But if I get too close, wait, it just tries to eat me. Oh my gosh, that killed me so fast. And there we go. Yeah, this guy's definitely gonna do the trick. Just look inside his mouth. I can literally just stand here. And anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going right now? Oh, my mob army is so strong. I literally spotted a mob that I thought was gonna be super bad. But it spotted something really, really rare. Wait, really? Really, Smirky, what did you spot it? Wait, could you please tell me the potion you used to get? I just keep wanting to know. Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you I started off with a zombie, and I'm not really gonna tell you the potion I did because the last time you got a counter for it somehow. Oh, okay, the Smirky. I guess that makes sense. Well, I'll tell you the potion I used. I used the Earth Potion. Oh, an Earth Potion? Okay, well, I did the 
same thing, actually. All right, then let's drop the walls. And boom, the walls have dropped and the battle is about to start. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. But what the heck did you spawn in? Is this some kind of like plant monster? Yes, it is. And Smirky, it's literally eating your Bigfoot's hole. Look at this. And it's super poisonous. Oh no, that's not good if it's poisonous. But I mean, both of them are earth monsters. But hopefully one is better than the other. You know what I mean? Uh, yes, I know what you mean, Smirky. Hopefully mine's better than the others. And I think it is because it's taking damage, but it's just not dying at all. Oh my gosh, what the heck? And look, a bunch of your Bigfoots are dying right now. There's only like four or five left in this little pit. And oh my gosh, they're just getting eaten so much right now. How are they all getting eaten? That's not good. Guys, you gotta get out of here and just like throw it up in the air or something. We gotta get rid of this plant. That is not gonna work. And there you go. Another one just died. They are all just taking turns, dying, and getting eaten whole by my giant plant monster. Oh, no. That's not good. And now there is officially only one more of your Bigfoot. Say goodbye to your final Bigfoot, Smirky, because it is about to die. No, I'm not saying goodbye. Come on, I'm putting you on a chain. We gotta get out of here. And it's stuck already. It's not moving. It's not gonna work at all. It is completely stuck in its mouth because the teeth on my plant are so sharp. It is not gonna let go. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna grab both plants and uh, hopefully I can kill them. Okay, I'm gonna drop them on the ground and... Uh, oh, you, you just killed your mom, Smirky. And my plant is still alive. Oh, that was so funny. What the heck? How? Uh, I think we just gotta reset the arena and move on to the next round. And there we go. Once again, I've reset the arena. Let's just jump straight into round four as fast as possible. What is Smirky gonna spot in? And wait, what is he doing? He's just holding a flower. Wait, what is he gonna do with a flower? He's making a little grass platform and now he's just placing a bunch of flowers. Wait, what is his plan here? And wait, he's just throwing bone meal on them now. What is he doing? And wait a second. I think he might throw an earth potion in it. Wait, he's actually doing it. And what on earth is that? It just spotted some sort of leaves. Wait, I wonder what's gonna happen with that. And wait, a piranha plant just popped out of it. And wait, it's trying to eat Smirky. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Whenever he gets close to it, it literally tries to bite him. Come on, Mr. Piranha Plant kills Smirky at all. Oh, this is hilarious. I am so happy we have this woodway glass wall to see Smirky getting eaten by his own plant. But anyways, since this is a plant mob, we actually need to spawn in a fire mob to counter this exactly. Because plant's biggest weakness is fire because fire can just burn this instantly. So this is going to be super easy. So I just chose a random mob, which is a crocodile. I just look at how cool these guys are. I mean, crocodiles are cool, right? If you're gonna survive them near it, I'm pretty sure I just eat you. Uh, wait, oh my gosh, let me out of his mouth. Oh, I gotta go back and create a mode. Okay, we're gonna throw this fire potion onto it and turn it out of this crocodile and into an OP fire crocodile. Here you go. And wait, what did this just turn into? Look at this. It spotted this giant... I, I don't even know what this is. Some sort of like crocodile and it has a massive gun on the top. And that's not even to mention the fire going all along its body. This is a crazy molten elemental alligator crocodile thing. Yeah, I don't even have a name for it because it's just so crazy. Wait, I have to go in survival mode near this thing. And hello, mister. Uh, do you do anything cool? And wait, what is he doing? Wait, he's shooting the gun at me. And oh, I'm, I'm taking a bunch of damage right now. And oh, I, I, I just died. So this guy should definitely do the trick. And wait. Wait, Smirky spotted a bunch more of his piranha plant things, and they are just constantly eating him. He is just taking it. And speaking of Smirky, uh, how is your army going, Smirky? My mob army is going really, really good, and I spotted a really cool plant. Uh... I probably should have told you, but you don't know what plant I did. Ah, uh, Smirky, I think I do know what plant you did. I think you spotted a piranha plant. Uh, how do you know exactly? Oh, you don't even have to worry about it, Smirky. And I also have really bad news for you. And you want to hear it? Oh, uh, I guess I'll hear it. What is it? Well, Smirky, since you spotted a plant, I spotted a fire mob, which is the exact counter. Because the fire can just burn your plants. A uh, fire mob? Okay, that's not good. But my plants are really, really strong. Uh, I... I, I I don't know about that, Smirky. We'll just have to see. Let's drop the walls. And here we go. The battle has begun. What the heck is this thing, Cardi? This is a fire crocodile with a giant gun on the top of him. A crocodile with fire? What the heck? How? And I might just have to bring him in towards your mob. So I'm just going to put him on a chain like this. And I'm just going to bring him. Come on, mister. We need to go and kill all of these plants. What? No. 
Let's go. It looks like he's killing all of your things. Come on, kill the plants, mister. And wait, he's throwing a bunch of fire attacks on them now. What the heck? How is it doing that? Come on, mister. Just keep doing your attacks and keep winning against all of these piranha plants. They're all just burning. Oh, no. They're all burning. And when they come out of their plant form, they literally get set on fire. I know. And this one also just died. There we go. And wait, is all your mobs already dead? That was so fast. Yes, it was. Because it literally set the arena on fire, Cardi. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> that was an insane attack. And I guess we just have to move on to the final round. Because you just got destroyed. Oh, my gosh. No way. And boom. Now we are on the final round. And I have my most insane elemental mob yet for this round. So let's just see what Smirky's gonna spawn. And wait, Smirky's just spawning in a bunch of knights. I wonder what kind of potion he's gonna throw on these. And it looks like he is holding the fire potion. Wait, these are probably gonna turn into a super crazy fire lava knight. Well, I guess let's just see. He's throwing the potions. And oh my gosh, I was right. These all turned into these super crazy flying lava ignis knights. Okay, these are really cool, but they're gonna be no match for the fire mob that I'm gonna spawn in. So you remember what I did last time? I spawned in a crocodile and then I threw a fire potion on it like this. And boom, there we go. We got this giant fire alligator thing. And now what I want to do is I want to throw a fire potion on this again. And we can turn this already super crazy fire mob into an even crazier fire mob. And it should just be so powerful that these ignis mobs that Smirky spawn don't even stand a chance. So Mr. Mob, you need to take these fire potions in three, two, one. Let's go. And oh my gosh, what did this turn into? Look at how big this giant lava monster is. It is like as big as the entire arena. I don't even think we need to see what this guy's attacks are because I think he'll probably just instantly kill Smirky's knights. So, uh, Smirky, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am, and I'm definitely gonna win. Y you're definitely gonna win. <laughs> okay, let's just drop the walls right now, and here we go. What the heck is this thing? This thing is so huge. Wait, did it just kill all your mobs already? Wait, look, all your mobs just lost all their health and... Oh, wait, I already won. What the heck? How did you already win, Cardi? There is no way you spawned in a mob this good. What did you even start out with? Smirky, you remember the mob I had last time? I just threw another fire potion onto it to turn it into the craziest fire mob ever. Why? You can do that? Don't leave, guys, because the next mob battle is even more insane! Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But there's a massive elemental roulette wheel. This means whatever element you shoot on the roulette wheel is the type of elemental mob that'll spawn in. But little does Smirky know, behind my roulette wheel is a cheat sheet. This means I'll be able to counter his exact elements he chooses with the perfect counter. So Smirky, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, Cardi, and I'm gonna choose way better colors than you are. We'll see about that and let the battle officially begin. And now that the battle has officially begun, we are going to start by cheating. And of course, we have the cheat sheet behind our roulette wheel, but first off, I want to flip this lever right here. And what this does is it'll change this bedrock wall to one-way glass. And boom, there we go. Now we can see through this bedrock wall, but Smirky cannot. And this is gonna allow us to see exactly what color he's gonna choose on this elemental roulette wheel. And it looks like he might be holding his bow, so let's see which one he's aiming at. And it looks like he's looking up at the blue or the brown one there. That means he's either thinking about choosing the earth element or the water element. And that means these are probably gonna be some super crazy mobs are gonna spawn in. But let's see what he's gonna shoot. And it looks like he hit the earth one just barely. And wait. And oh my gosh, look at what spawned in. It looks like this crazy oak and the monster spawned in. This guy is basically just a giant walking tree monster. But that's not really that good. I wonder if Smirky has any other spawn eggs of earth elemental mobs. And wait, it looks like he might have gotten the jungle abomination spawn egg. Because look at this guy. He is a massive wooden oak monster. And he is literally like five times the size of this tiny little oak monster. That is actually pretty cool. But these guys 
guys are really, really powerful. And I'm pretty sure when that big guy wakes up, his attacks are really OP. So we are going to need to get the perfect counters. And luckily for me, like I showed you earlier, there is actually a little cheat sheet behind my roulette wheel. So let's just go behind here like this. And there we go. So each of these colors is a different element. And basically how to read this is basically any element on this right side is the weaker element compared to the elements on the left side. So for example, Smirky chose the earth element, which is right here. And that means the exact counter for the earth element is the fire element. And that actually does make a lot of sense. Because look, these earth elements are made out of wood. And the exact counter to wood is fire, obviously, because fire can burn the wood. So that's how you know this cheat sheet 100% works. But anyways, let's grab ourselves a bow and head down to where we're gonna shoot this roulette wheel. And we better not miss this shot or else we're gonna have a trash element. Okay, so let's just shoot this slow and steady onto the fire element. And there we go. And I think we hit it. Let's go. And now let's check what's inside of this chest. And it looks like we got three super crazy mobs. And wait, let's just pick up all of these. We got a fire beetle, an Amon ship, and even a mob called just red. Whoa, that sounds really cool. And we got to see what these mobs look like. So first off, we'll start off with the fire beetle. This is probably going to be the weakest out of all of them. And boom, I just spawned this thing in and look at this guy. He has a giant orange insect. And when we go and survive him next to him, he literally shoots out a bunch of fire attacks and sets you on fire. Oh my gosh, this thing is cool. It does a lot of damage too. Well, I just went in creative mode so it doesn't kill me. And now let's spawn in our second fire mob. And the second one is called an Ammon ship. So let's just spawn this guy in right away. And look at this guy. I don't even know what this is. It's some sort of fire mob mixed with a pirate ship. And oh my gosh, it has these crazy yellow eyes and a crazy sharp teeth mouth. I'm not even gonna test this guy's attacks because he probably drops bombs from the sky or something. I mean, that's what pirate ships do, right? They shoot cannons and stuff. But this guy will definitely be a great addition to our fire army. And now let's spawn in our final fire mob we got. And this mob is actually called a red. And oh my gosh, what just happened? He literally turned the sky red. And look at this guy. He is super duper creepy looking. Look at that face it has. Now that is scary. And this is like some sort of spider monster. And it probably has crazy fire attacks. And look, everywhere it walks, it leaves this magma trail behind it. Wow, that is creepy. But just to make sure our mobs are a little more evenly distributed, I'm gonna spawn in a few more of these guys, just like this. And then let's spawn in one more of these giant flying pirate ships like this. And I think that's pretty good. I don't even think we need another one of these monsters because it is so crazy. And wait, look at all these mobs Smirky has now. He spawned in a bunch more oak monsters. Well, that's pretty cool and good for Smirky, but there's no way these guys are gonna survive my crazy monsters. So I just sent it back to daytime just so we could see the mob battle better. And Smirky, how is your mob army going? My mob army is going super duper duper good. Well, that's good to hear, Smirky. And can you tell me which element you shot on the roulette wheel? Uh, well, Cardi, I'll tell you it's whatever the brown one was. Wait, you shot one of the brown elements, Smirky? That's the earth element. So that must mean you got a crazy wooden tree monster. Wait, how do you know? Have you shot the brown one too? No, Smirky, I shot the fire one, and the fire one is actually the perfect counter to the brown one, because you have wood and I have fire. Wait, you're right about that, and that's not good at all. Yeah, it definitely is not good at all, Smirky. And are you ready to drop the walls and start the first round? Yes, I am, Cardi. Let's go. All right, then let's drop the walls in three, two, one, and let's go. And oh my gosh, do you see the mobs I have, Smirky? Gordy, I have no idea what this is. Is this like a lava octopus? What is this? Is this like a lava spider? Yes, it is, Smirky. I got crazy lava and fire mobs. And look at them. They're literally just burning your tree monsters alive. Okay, that's actually kind of crazy. But my tree monsters can do some crazy slam attacks. Like, look at what they're doing to these mobs. That's pretty lame, Smirky. I'm not even gonna lie. It looks like a giant monster's still sleeping. So let's wake him up real quick. And look at this guy. He's probably gonna join in with the battle and do some crazy attacks. But wait, he's already getting blown up. What is 
happening? Come on, Lava Beetles. You can definitely win this and just do some more fire attacks and let's go. Oh my gosh, I think they are doing more fire attacks. This is just crazy. And it looks like you only have one of these tiny tree monsters left. And then, wait, where's your giant tree monster, Sparky? Did it fall off? I think it did. I think it did too, Cardi. And it's blowing up literally everything over here. Do you see that? Yes, I do, Sparky. And whoa, your two leaf monsters just died. And oh my gosh, it's just this guy left now. Oh my gosh, you're right. And it's getting beat up by this beetle or something. Yeah, he's just hiding under the dirt. And wait, I think he killed him. He's just walking away. And I just won the first round. What? I got destroyed that round. Yeah, you're going to need to pick way better elements, Smirky. And you got to make sure I don't counter them exactly. All right, Cordy. Well, I will make sure I do that then. Let's go to the second round. And boom, we just reset the arena. And we are now on the second round of the elemental roulette mob battle. And there's still tons of crazy elements we have yet to shoot. So things are just getting started. And I am super excited to see what Smirky's going to choose. Because we're going to be able to counter it exactly. And it looks like he's looking up at his roulette wheel. And I wonder which one he's going to aim at. And it looks like he might be aiming at the water one. Or maybe the earth one again. Wait, he's not going to shoot the earth twice in a row. So he's definitely aiming at the water. So he's probably going to shoot that and he hit it. And wait, I think something's happening. And oh my gosh, I think a bunch of water mobs literally spawned in. Wait, this is so funny. And look, they're literally dying. I think they need water to survive. So hopefully Smokey will place that down quickly. And there we go. It looks like Smokey quickly put down some water. And I think all his mobs are surviving now. And what mobs did he get anyways? I know he got a bunch of water mobs, but it looks like he got some sort of seahorse mermaid thing. I don't even know what that is. It looks like he also got a sea serpent monster. Oh my gosh, that guy is cool. He's like a snake. And then he even got this giant whale. It's literally sticking his tail through the wall. Well, Mr. Whale, you need to stay on your side and stay in your water. And I guess we can figure out what kind of counter we're gonna do to these guys. So let's go behind our giant roulette wheel right here. And what is gonna be the counter? So Smirky chose the water one, and that means we're gonna have to choose the gray one, which is air. Now, the air element is a super cool element, and it might give us like a crazy tornado mob or something like that, because the air is super, super OP. And if we get a tornado, it might be able to suck up all the water here and literally just kill all these mobs super easily. So anyways, let's get our bow and aim up at this roulette wheel. And wait, which one did we have to shoot again? Oh yeah, we have to shoot the air one. So let's aim at this and we cannot miss this. And let's just let go. And boom, I think we hit it. So now we can go see what's in our chest. And it looks like we got two super crazy mobs. We got a thing called a guster. So let's get that in our hotbar. And then we got a thunder screamer. Wait, that's pretty cool. It might be like some lightning storm mod because it's the air. Well, these are going to be some insane mobs. But anyways, let's just first spot in this Guster mob. And we'll just place him right here. And wait a second. This is a tornado just like what I thought I would get. And look, it's literally alive. It has these crazy, scary yellow eyes on it. And look, if you get too close to it, it literally picks you up and throws you around. And oh my gosh, it just threw me off. Well, this guy is definitely really cool. And I wonder if he can like pick up other elements. This might be cheating a little bit, but let's just put like a fire in front of this guy and what's gonna happen and wait a second it turned into a fire tornado and wait what it's already gone but for a split second there was a fire tornado there and that was really cool so i wonder if we spot a bunch of these tornadoes will it be able to pick up the water from this giant pool of water well hopefully i can because that would be epic and okay the tornadoes are picking me up again get me out of here but remember we also have one other mob called a thunder screamer so let's just place this guy right here and wait a second look at it it's like a crazy thunder bird. And this is the air element because it's electricity and it can fly. So that is really, really cool. And I wonder if this guy is like lightning attacks. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. And he is such a majestic bird. Look at him fly around. He's gonna zap the water with his electricity and literally electrocute all of these mobs. So let's just go along and spawn a bunch of these guys in. And there we go. I think that's pretty good. And look at that. It looks like Smirky spotted a bunch more of his water mobs. And that one is massive. Whoa. And anyway, Smirky, how is your army going? My army is going super duper good. I just spotted some really good water mobs and I just told you what my element was. Yeah, Smirky, you just told me what the element was and you just told me you have water mobs. And lucky for me, I think I have the exact counter to water. I have air mobs. Uh, air mobs? How is that the exact counter? Air can't even go in water. Smirky, I guess you're just gonna have to find out. And 
anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am. Let's go. And Smirky, I dropped the walls and our mobs are going to start fighting. Let's go. And Gertie, you literally have a few like pigeons or seagulls. What are these kind of mobs? These are not pigeons or seagulls, Smirky. They are thunder screamers. And I think they're summoning lightning on your whales right now. Wait, yeah, you're right. They are. And wait, does that mean it's electrocuting the water? It definitely does, Smirky. But that's not it. Because you see these tornadoes I have? Oh, uh, yes, I do. Well, if I could push them into water like this. Well, then they turn into water tornadoes, Smirky. And look at these water tornadoes going about the water. What kind of things are these? How, how does this even exist? I don't even know, Smirky. I think because of my tornado has super OP wind attacks, it literally picked up the water and turned it into a water tornado. And now I could go in the water and do damage. What? You're right about that? But what about the electricity mobs? Well, Smirky, there's still a bunch of them everywhere. And look, I think some of them are even diving in the water to kill your mobs. Wait, the water has to be getting electrocuted a bunch right now. Wait, you might be right about that. That is horrible. And wait, Smirky, look at how electrocuted the water is getting. You're right. It is getting so crazy. And it's all electrocuting. What? And Smirky, I think the electrocution might have gone super insane because I think all your whales are dying. And everything just blew up. But where are your mobs? Well, Smirky, where are my mobs? Well, let's look behind me and it looks like I have one of each of my mobs left. Oh my gosh, you're right. And you, you literally just have one of each mob. How do you only have one of each mob? Even though these mobs were so much smaller than your water mobs, they were the perfect counter. And anyways, are you ready to move on to the next round? Yes, I am, Cordy. Let's go. Let's go. And there we go. Yet another elemental round one. And don't leave yet, guys, because we're just going to jump straight into this next round and I'm going to have some crazy he counters. And look, Smirky's right there and he's holding his bow and it looks like he's heading over to the roulette wheel. And which element is he gonna aim for this time? It's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like he might be looking towards the fire element or maybe the wind element. I'm not really too sure. Maybe he will want to do the wind element since I did it last time in one. But I guess anyways, let's just see and it looks like he shot the fire one and he barely hit it. And wait a second, I think something's happening. Hey, look at this, the fire roulette wheel activated it and spotted two cool fire mobs. And look at this. This one on the right is the giant Ignis Lava Knight. Everybody knows this guy. He's a super cool monster with really OP attacks, so he is not gonna be easy to defeat. But then there's also this little fire pumpkin bomb thing. I don't even know what this is, but it's super magical because clearly it can fly. It has a bunch of fire around it. But anyways, I already think I know which element's gonna be the counter for fire. But let's just double check by looking behind our roulette wheel. And locating fire. And it looks like on the right side, fire's here. So on the left side, the counter will be water. Yes, I was definitely correct. That makes a bunch of sense. Because water will literally put out fire. And that will be really, really cool. So let's just quickly head down here and find the water on the roulette board. And it looks like it's right there. So let's just shoot this, not miss. And there we go. We just hit the water. That means we're allowed to go look at our chest. And I am super excited to see what water mobs we get. And it looks like we got four different different types of water mobs. First off, we have the man of water. That sounds really cool. Then we have a hammerhead shark, a kraken, a balloon monster, and even this thing called a Mateus boss. Okay, we're gonna have to see what all of these guys do because this is so many mobs. So let's start off with the man of water and let's just place him right there. And look at this guy. He is a man literally made of water. It's literally exactly what the name says. But I wonder what happens if we punch him like this. And okay, maybe we shouldn't have punched him because he just hurt the entire arena of my side in the water. That is super duper cool. And this is gonna allow us to spot in the rest of our water mobs. So next up, we just got a hammerhead shark and that's just a shark, but it's really cool because it's got a super, super strong jaw and some super sharp teeth. So let's spawn in a bunch of these guys just for a little bit of army mobs. And then let's spawn in the giant kraken because that's our next mob. And look at how big this guy is. He is basically bigger than the entire ocean thing that we have on our side. Well, this this is 
gonna be super cool and I think he can even spit out a bunch of crazy ink attacks and literally swallow mobs whole. So I'm happy we got that guy and next up we have a balloon. So I guess we're gonna see what this thing is and it looks like this guy is some cool blue monster. But wait a second, this is the same exact thing that Smirky has but it's just blue instead of orange. So I think Smirky has the orange fire version of this pumpkin and I have the blue water version and that means mine's definitely better because water is better than fire. And then last but not least, we have this thing called a Mateus boss. So let's just spawn this guy in and what does he look like? And wait, look at this guy. It's a crazy giant insect and it has this blue trident and wings and oh my gosh, this is just really crazy looking. This is definitely some sort of alien that fell onto earth and oh my gosh, this is so OP. Look at all of our mobs. There is a 0% chance we lose. So let's just spawn in a couple more sharks just to make our win chance even higher and I think this is good. Smirky, how is your mob army going? My mob army is once again really, really good. I spawned in some pretty cool mobs this time. Wait, Smirky, what do you mean once again good? Your armies have never been good. They've lost every single time. Okay, well, this round is different, Cardi. This round, it's gonna be way better, like I keep saying. Okay, Smirky, if you really think that you'd be pretty surprised, and you don't even have to tell me what element you have, I'll just tell you mine, and I'll tell you I have the water element. Uh, the water element? Okay, well, that's like the exact counter as to what I have. Wait, Smirky, that means you definitely have the fire element, and I am excited to see this mob battle take place. All right, well, I am too. Let's drop the walls in three, two, one, and let's go and look at the mob battle. Things are starting to happen. What is happening, and what are these attacks? This is kind of crazy. Yes, Smirky, this is definitely crazy, and what is my Kraken flying right now? I think it is. What is happening? And Smirky, wait, I think two of your Ignis' mobs just died. I think it's this crazy alien mob that I have just insta-killed them. What is this alien mob? I've literally never seen this before. I know, I've never seen this before this either, but this thing is crazy, and look at all my sharks under the water, too. What? You have sharks? How did you get all these insane mobs? I guess you hit one of the water things, right? Yeah, Smirky, and I just got way more lucky than you, and look at this Ignis. He's literally drowning in the water here. He, look, he's just taking constant damage. Oh, no, this isn't good. Come on, Ignis. You gotta get up. Why, why are you just stuck in there? I'm gonna build a floaty for you. You're gonna build a floaty for him, Smirky? It might be a little too late, though, because I think your Ignis might have died, and look at that. What? It's dead, and it dropped all its loot on the ground. And now you just have a couple of these pumpkin mobs left, but wait, look at my shark. It tried to go out of the water to kill them, and it died. But I still have this Kraken left, and I wonder if he's gonna do any cool attacks to kill all of your mobs. Well, I hope not, Cardi. That would be really, really bad. And Smirky, I think your hope is wrong, because look at them. They all just died, and I just won the mob battle. Wait, you're right. You did it. What attack did your Kraken even do? I don't even know. Maybe he shot some ink out of the water or something. That's what squids do, isn't it? Oh, uh, I think so, Cardi. But what happened? Everything is is gone right now. I know, Smirky. And let's just move on to the final round. Let's go. And boom, now we're on the last round of the mob battle. And this means we're gonna have our craziest mobs yet, so definitely don't leave. And let's just immediately see what Smirky's gonna shoot. And it looks like he might be looking towards the air and he just shot the air one in. Wait, is something gonna happen? He's shooting at a bunch. And wait, look at the air mobs that just spawned in. It spawned in these super crazy gas. And I guess that makes sense since these guys can fly and they are a part of the air. And these gas are super cool because they have a bunch of red all over them and they're probably some sort of muted gas. Well, that's pretty good for him, but let's just go to our cheat sheet and immediately counter these guys. And so Smirky chose the air one. So on the left of the air, which is the counter, it will be the earth element. And I wonder why that is. I don't really know why the earth is the counter to the air, but if this cheat sheet says it, I'm just gonna trust it because it's won us the other three rounds. So let's just grab our bow and shoot the earth element just like this. And boom, we hit it. So now let's just look what's in our chest. And it looks like we got these three super crazy mobs. So let's see all these guys. So first off, we have this thing called a 
plant creeper? And what is this thing? So I think it's supposed to be a creeper, but it has these four little purple petals on it, and it's like some sort of plant. Wait, what happens if we punch this thing? And whoa, it just blew up in front of me. Wait, I gotta see that again. It like shot a bunch of purple particles everywhere. That was so cool. I'm just gonna keep blowing these guys up. They're so fun to blow up. And it's raining purple particles. Okay, but to be serious, let's just spot a couple of these guys all around. And next up, we have this thing called a deeper. And wait, this is just a super tall plant creeper again. This guy's like made out of plants and grass and dirt. And it looks like we have a bunch of different creeper mobs. That's pretty cool. And next up, we also have another creeper. What is this? This is like a swamp earth creeper. It has grass and mushrooms growing at the top of its head. Let's spawn a couple of those guys. And then last, we have this thing called a deserted. And wait, this guy is just a sand monster. And he's literally shooting my giant creepers. Hey, stop it, mister. We're supposed to be on the same team. Okay, well, I got him to stop shooting the mobs. And it looks like he killed a couple. So we're gonna have to spawn them back in like this. And wow, this guy is so powerful. Because he was shooting out a bunch of super crazy fireballs. And just look at him. He's made out of sand. And that means he is the ultimate earth element. And Smokey, are you ready to drop the walls? I think my mobs are attacking your mobs. Yes, I am. Let's go. And do you see these crazy mobs I have, Smirky? Yes, I do. What is this? This isn't crazy, Cardi. These are literally creepers. Are you sure these aren't crazy, Smirky? Because these are earth creepers. Look at how big some of these guys are. Wait, you're right. These are pretty big, but I'm not that scared of them. This isn't that bad. Ah, uh, Smirky, are you sure? Because I think a bunch of your gas are already dying in. Uh, Smirky, where are your gas? Oh, uh, I, I, I don't see any except the one over here, Cardi. Wait, Smirky, there is a gas right here and wait it just got killed i think my sand monster shot it with a fireball wait did it actually yes it did and that is so cool because i just won the final round of the mob battle don't leave guys because the next mob battle is even more insane today i'm doing a minecraft mob battle with my friend but any mob we draw turns to life for example if i go to my canvas and i draw a tiny little baby ender dragon and then go to this lever and pull it like this it'll spawn that exact mob in look it's a tiny little baby ender dragon we'll be able to draw literally any mob so this is going to be so insane and of course i'll be cheating with this one-way glass so i can see whatever mob smirky spots in anyway smirky are you ready to start the mob battle yes i am gurney and i'm totally gonna draw way better mobs than you we will see about that smirky anyways let the battle begin and now that the battle has officially begun I think we should start off by cheating with this massive one-way glass wall. And this way, I'll be able to see whatever mob Smirky draws on his canvas. And then we'll be able to draw an even better mob than what he has. And wait, I think Smirky's starting to draw his thing. And wait, what is Smirky drawing? I gave him like 30 seconds and he's starting to make this gray and red monster thing. And wait a second, I think he's even drawing arms on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to see this thing when it's finished. And whoa, I think he's getting close to done because this looks like some floating skeleton god and look it looks super muscular and it even has an evil angry face on it and wait i think smirky's finished because he's not holding his palette anymore and wait a second i wonder what this is gonna turn into i mean it's kind of dark so maybe it'll turn into some sort of skeleton king because it has little red things coming out the top but i guess we're gonna have to see and he's pulling it and what is this thing look at what just spawned in it's a massive floating wither skeleton and it has a massive blood red sword. Okay, this thing is scary. And it looks like it even made the entire arena dark. I think the sky is a little darker than it was before Smirky flipped that lever. This thing is truly scary and it is not going to be easy to defeat. But lucky for me, I think I know how I can defeat this thing. And I just got to get to my little canvas over here. So I got my little paintbrush palette and I think we're just going to right click this canvas right now. I literally kind of want to draw a massive floating flying mob just like Smirky. But for my floating flying mob, it's not just going to be an ordinary skeleton. Oh, no, no, no. Because right now, I am drawing a super crazy hand monster with five fingers. Look at this thing. It is so cool looking. And now, I'm literally gonna add a little wristband on this thing just to make it really cool and have some red. Because red will make it super evil. 
I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So I'm just gonna add some little red dots down here, and I think this is pretty cool. But then, I don't just want to draw a giant flying hand monster. I also want to add a massive eye in the middle of it, and whoa, this thing is gonna look super duper cool. And I think I might even make the eye a little bit red just in that middle, and whoa, okay. This thing has gotta be, like, super cursed or something, because look at this hand monster. That is a scary piece of artwork. But remember, guys, we're trying to draw something that can defeat that massive floating wither skeleton king Smirky has. And I think this hand monster should definitely do the trick. And I think we need to just get next to this lever and pull the lever. So, Mr. Painting, you really, really need to turn into a crazy monster. And I think you should. So, let's flip the lever in three, two, one, and here we go. And, uh, I think it might have worked. Because look at this. This is the back of the hand. But wait, I gotta see the front of it. Is the eye that I drew gonna be here? And yes, the eye that I drew is definitely here. And whoa, this is even cooler than the drawing. Like, look, it has those little red dots at the bottom like I drew. And even has some red lines. But then it also added these red lines on the palm next to the eye. This thing is super cool. I am so happy that we got a mob this powerful. And look, let's just give it a little high five. And uh-oh, I just punched its eye. Mr. End Monster, I'm sorry for punching her eye. Don't get mad at me. But I think we should be good. And I bet this guy has some insane attacks for you. Can literally turn into a fist and fly around and just do cool stuff. So we're gonna have to wait till the mob battle to see this insane fight take place. Anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? My mob army is going super duper 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 good. What kind of mob did you draw? Could you please give me a hint? Uh, well, I drew a really buff, like, skeleton kind of thing and it made it into a king. Wait, really? That's super cool. Well, I drew, like, some sort of hand monster and it's flying and I know that doesn't sound that good, but you're just gonna have to wait and see this thing. All right, Cardi. Well, I am ready to see it whenever you're ready to drop the walls. Well, Smirky, I'm ready to drop the walls, so let's drop them in three, two, one, and here we go, and whoa! Let's go! And what is this, Cardi? Is this literally a hand? Okay, my king has like two hands, Cardi. You're gonna lose. Smirky, are you sure about that? Because my hand's turning into a fist and flying and bashing into your monster. Well, how is it my monster doing damage to it. I think it's because my hand is so strong and it can only take damage if it gets hit in the eye in the middle of it. What? No, that has to be cheating. Cardi, I'm gonna go punch it in its eye. Smart Cat's not gonna do anything because my guy's just comboing your guy. He cannot even do anything to defend himself. What? But look at my mom. Did you see that flamethrower attack he just had? I know. I saw that, Smirky, but I'm pretty sure my hand is made out of fire because he cannot take damage and whoa, it just knocked your guy off the map. There's no way it just pushed it off the map and it's probably dead down there anyways. Yeah, Smirky, I think it's definitely dead. And look, the sky is clearing up in my hand. Monster was victorious. What? I'm gonna punch it in its eyes some more. Stop, Smirky. Okay, let's reset the arena. Let's go. And boom, I just won the first round. But guys, don't leave because that was literally the first round. We have some insane mobs that we need to draw with our canvases. But before we draw our mob, we need to check on Smirky's mob. And what is he drawing? It looks like he's drawing some sort of pink X and then some squares around it. Okay, let's just wait a second to see what this turns into. And wait, what is this turning into? I think that X turned into some sort of body. And look, there's like little skin skeleton heads coming out of it or something like that. That is super duper weird, but is he gonna try anything else? And whoa, look at this. I think he drew like four blue arms coming out of it, and this thing is super spooky. But this is probably gonna turn into a really cool boss because this canvas mod has a really good AI, and it can detect any cool mob. But let's see what this is gonna turn into, and he's pulling the lever. And oh my gosh, that actually worked. This is like actually a crazy skeleton monster, and it looks like there's even a bunch of skeleton skulls in his body, just like his drawing has. And look, there's definitely those four blue arms coming out of it. Because this thing has four arms and some super sharp fingers. Oh my gosh. This thing is gonna have insane attacks. I already know it. And that means we're going to need to draw something that can count to this guy exactly. And I'm happy that we have this one-way glass wall, because this gives me a perfect idea. So let's go over to our canvas and right-click it. And now we are going to draw a mob just like Smurf. And if you're wondering what I mean by just 
like Smirkies. Well, I'm gonna draw a mob that has a bunch of skeleton skulls all around it, just like he did. But mine's not just gonna be a tiny little skeleton with four arms. It's gonna be a massive skeleton knight. And I'm just gonna have to show you guys. Let me just draw this real quick. I'm just drawing a bunch of circles. And then I'm gonna go in and draw some little faces on each of them. And there we go. And now I'm just gonna draw some massive knight legs like this. Add some arms just like this. And then we'll draw a little head just like this. And then I'm gonna add some horns coming out of it just to make it look even cooler. And then we're just gonna add some color variations on this thing just to make it a little bit more powerful. So I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. And as you can see, I added a little bit of pink on its arms and I added a giant red cape. And now we're just gonna draw a giant black hammer just to make this guy have some really cool attacks. Okay, hopefully the drawing mod will pick this up as a hammer because this doesn't really look like a hammer. But then let's just add a little bit of blue here and I think this should be good. Look at this drawing. It is so cool. And it should be the perfect counter for Smirky's mob. And I cannot wait to see this thing turn into the mob. So let's just do this in three, two, one, and let's pull the lever. And I think it might work because look at this mob. This is insane. This thing is exactly what I wanted, but even cooler. Because look, it's a it has these giant night legs, a giant red cape, all these skeleton souls on its body, and the massive giant black hammer. I could not have wished for a better mob than this, and I'm so happy that I got this thing. And normally, I would like to test this guy's attacks, but since he is just so much bigger and better than this mob smirk he has, I think we should be good. And look, there's even some sort of, like, soul heart thing inside of it. I don't even know what that is, but that probably just means it's even more powerful than I think. Anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going? Because I think I might have drawn a way better mob than yours. Courtney, there is a 0% chance that you drew a better mob than me. I'm just gonna let you know that. What, what do you mean? A 0% chance, Smirky? I'm looking at your drawing right now, and compared to mine, it is so trash. Courtney, how are you even looking at my drawing? Do you not see the giant, like, bedrock wall here? Oh, I forgot about the bedrock wall, and yes, Smirky, I was just kidding about seeing your drawing. Obviously, I can't see your drawing through the bedrock wall. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, I'm ready to drop the walls, are you? Yes, I am. Let's drop them in three, two, one, and let the battle begin. And, ah, uh, Smirky, I think your mom's already about to die because look at my thing. What is this guy? This kind of looks like my mom, but a little bit better, but not a lot of it better. It looks kind of trash, to be honest. You think this looks trash? Because he literally just summoned in minions that are literally healing him, I think. What? Get those minions out of here. This is so crazy. And look, he is just slowly stopping over to your mob. And oh, he's gonna do an attack. And what? Wait, did it kill it in one hit? What What just happened? <laughs> what, Smirky? That was insane. And look at my guy. He's just bashing his hammer against the floor. He just killed his own minions. Why did he kill his own minions? You know what, Cardi? I have an idea. What's your idea, Smirky? I think I need to put a stop to this guy myself. Wait, you're gonna try and fight him, Smirky? Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna go and kill him. Smirky, you're getting destroyed. I can barely see anything, but oh my gosh, he just died. What? Are you kidding me? Let's just reset the arena, and I just won the second round. Let's go. All right, Cardi. And boom, I just won a round. And that was so cool. My mob was insane during that round, but I'm just gonna draw even better mobs as the video goes on. And before I draw my next mob, let's see what Smirky's gonna draw. And look, Smirky's starting to draw his mob, and it looks like it's a little brown circle thing there, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait till he is completely done with it. And after a little while, it looks like that circle thing turned into some hooded monster and he even added some red eyes on this thing. But wait, this is kind of trash. Is he gonna draw anything else on this? And it looks like he might be starting to draw some sort of sword. And wait a second, that sword is massive. He's giving this tiny little skeleton guy a massive giant black sword. And whoa, this thing is probably gonna be really powerful. But I guess he's done because he's not painting anymore. And I think he's gonna start pulling that lever, and he's pulling it! And what on earth is that thing? I guess it actually worked. It just spotted a little skeleton hooded monster with a massive sword. And look, it's even glowing red. That is pretty cool. But wait, Smirky's going back to the lever and he's pulling it even more! And oh my gosh, it has flipped it more times and even more of them spawned, and some of them have massive scythes now. I don't even know how these guys have scythes, because he didn't even draw that. I guess these guys are just super crazy, and okay, these are gonna be hard to defeat with their massive weapons. But I think I know exactly what I want to draw to counter these guys. 
So let's head over to our canvas and right click this thing. And now what I want to draw is actually a super giant crazy plant monster. And so right there, I just drew a little bit of a stem. And then right now I'm adding these massive pink petals to do the base of the flower. A little yellow thing in the middle to act as its little pollen area. And then what I want to start doing is adding massive spikes all around this flower. And what these spikes are going to allow it to do is make sure that no mobs can get near it at all because it's just gonna spike them all if they get too close. So I'm gonna add literally massive spikes everywhere. Like, I am not gonna go underkill with these spikes. I'm going to go extremely overkill and here we go. There are so many spikes all over this thing. And I think this is pretty cool. I guess the drawing isn't that good because the flower looks a little bit deformed. But it should be good enough for the mod to pick it up and understand exactly what I drew and spot a crazy OP boss. So let's just flip this lever and three... Two, one, and here we go. And I think it might have worked because look at these spikes. I've even looked up at the top of the flower, but this thing is already insane. But now let's just look up and whoa. This thing is so cool. And look, it has the pink petals just like I drew. Now this thing is absolutely insane. And there is no way that this thing doesn't have OP attacks. Like, wait, I actually have to test this out. I'm gonna go in survival mode near this thing. And uh, hello, Mr. Flower. I mean, it's looking everywhere I go. And wait, why is it going? Going underground and wait it's shooting up massive spikes out the floor oh my gosh this thing is insane hey stop trying to kill me mr flower and wait what's it doing now it's doing more spike attacks oh my gosh there's so many spikes i gotta go in grand mode before i die and okay i don't think we even need to worry about spotting it any more than a single one of these flowers this should definitely be enough to kill all of these things smirky has and smirky how is your army going this round my army is going super duper duper good i made my mobs have some really cool weapons. Oh, you made your mobs have really cool weapons? Are they, like, super big or something? Uh, I mean, yeah, they're pretty tall, Cardi. I think they're literally as tall as yourself. Wait, really, Smarky? Let me take a guess at what kind of weapons your mobs have. I bet they have massive swords and massive scythes. Wait, how do you know? Uh, there's literally so many mobs that have massive weapons, Cardi. Well, Smarky, your mobs are glowing, and that's how I knew, actually. What? Are you kidding me? That's how you know, because they're glowing. Yeah. Yep, I can literally see they're glowing through blocks, and that means I can see them through this bedrock wall. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I should have got rid of their effects. <laughs> Smirky, let's just drop the walls in three, two, one, and here we go. And do you see this crazy boss I have? What is this? Cardi, wait, what is this, Cardi? This is literally a flower. I know, this is just a flower, Smirky, but look, all your mobs are trying to attack it, and look, the spikes are just pricking them to death. What? Wait, so do you to go destroy these. Oh my gosh, I'm getting rid of them. Hey, Smarky, you can't destroy these. That's cheating. But anyways, it doesn't really matter because I think all of your mobs are already destroyed. Are you kidding me, Cardi? There is no way you won that easily. Well, Smarky, just take a look for yourself. I definitely did win that easily because my mob is still standing here and I think we need to reset the arena. Yeah, I think we need to reset the arena as well. Let's go. And I just won yet another round and I can't wait for these final two rounds because things are just about to get super, super crazy. But anyways, let's see what Smarky's gonna draw, and I think he's already drawing his mob. Because look, he has some sort of brown belt thing there, and look, he's adding a little bit of green to it, so I think we're just gonna have to wait a second to see what this turns into. And look at this thing! It's turning into some sort of troll monster, and it's like has these massive green legs and this massive green stomach! And look, I think he's adding a head to it now because he just made a little face on it, and he's adding little teeth to it. And wait, I think Smirky's done with it because now he's not painting anymore and I think he's gonna pull that lever. And oh my gosh, look at these things. There's like a thousand of them. This is not good for me at all because some of these guys are super big and some of them are really small. Look at those. These are so cool though. I mean, they have these massive teeth and they look kind of goofy, but I bet they're really, really strong because Smirky drew some really big muscles on them. So we're gonna need some sort of magic skeleton monster to kill all of these guys. So that's exactly what I'm gonna draw. So let's just go over to our little handy canvas right here and click this. And now I'm just gonna start off by drawing this little skeleton. So let's give him some arms and we're gonna make this guy a wither skeleton just so he's even more powerful. And then we're gonna go down and add the body 
And then we'll add a little skeleton rib cage. Just like that. I think that's good. And then let's add a little skeleton head to this guy. And we want to make this a king skeleton. So we're going to give him a little blue crown just like this. I think that's pretty cool looking. And now we're just going to give this guy a little skeleton face like this. And now he doesn't really look cool enough. So I think I got to add a giant staff to him and make this thing super cool. Add a little box like that. And then we need to give this guy some giant red robes. And this is just going to make him even more powerful because super powerful people wear red robes. So let's add these like this and then add a little bit of a cape to him. And okay, I kind of just covered him entirely in red, but this should make him really, really cool looking. I think we just got to flip this lever and see what this turns into. So let's flip this in three, two, one, and here we go. And oh my gosh, what is this thing? This is not what I was expecting to spot in, but look at the floor. It's making the entire grass into this withered grass block stuff, and it's literally making smoke come out of it. What are you doing, mister? Is everywhere it walks, it turns this grass into purple for some reason. I don't know why that's happening or why this thing is super scary looking, but he should definitely be very, very, very powerful in battle against all of these trolls. Anyway, Smirky, I don't really think you're ready for this round because I have an insane boss. Cordy, I don't think you're ready for this round because I have an even better mob and I have a lot of mobs. Uh, Smirky, I don't think your mob is gonna win if I'm being honest with you. Oh, no, are you kidding me? Yeah, they're definitely gonna win, Cordy. They are super duper good and super duper green. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait for the mob battle to see who's actually gonna win and let's drop the walls in three, two, one, and here we go and oh my gosh, Smirky! What is this? Okay, I'm probably gonna lose. What are these attacks I can do? And my guys aren't doing any damage. I know, and look at my guy just teleporting around and throwing crazy attacks at your mobs. What? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It's only a matter of time before they all die, and there's other stuff like witches and wither skeletons alive, too. Yeah, I think my boss has crazy attacks where he can spot in more mobs. Like, there's a brown mushroom cow here. I don't even know what's going on, Smirky. Oh my gosh, that is crazy, Cardi. There is no way I'm about to lose. I have, like, 50 mobs. Smirky, there's even lightning attacks and so much stuff happening. He's just waving his wand around and winning this battle completely. Yeah, you're right about that. Are any of my guys even alive except, like, the one guy all the way over here? Yeah, this is the only one left, I think, and oh my gosh. And yeah, I think my guy is completely fine, and I think it just killed all your stuff. Are you kidding me? There is no way. Well, Smirky, I think there is a way, and I think we need to move on to the final round of the mob battle. All right, well, I'm gonna bring it back, and I am definitely gonna win. I guess we'll see about that. Let's reset the arena. And here we go. We are on the last round of the mob battle. And I am super excited for this round because I have one of my favorite mobs ever I'm gonna draw. But anyways, it looks like Smirky's drawing his mob. And while he's drawing this, I'm actually gonna draw my mob. And then when I'm done drawing my mob, we'll check in with each other and see who has the better drawing. And then we'll flip our levers. But for the mob I wanna draw, I'm gonna do a super duper crazy blackstone golem. So I'm gonna add some black arms like this. And then a giant black body. And then let me add some black legs. And then another arm. And this guy is literally made out of blackstone. So that means he is super powerful. So let's add a little head on this guy. And then we'll add a villager nose. Add some eyes like this. And now we need to add some texture to this guy. So we're gonna add little lava lines going all around his body. Just like this. And I think this is going to be really, really cool when we spot this thing in. Because it'll be an iron golem with a bunch of fire attacks. Let's add some fire all around it just to make sure this mod knows exactly what I'm trying to draw. Alright, I think this is pretty cool and I think we are done with this drawing. And okay, this looks kind of trash now that I'm looking at it, but it should be really, really cool. But for this final round, I also want to draw something else and this is going to be super crazy. So let me get this other canvas open and I'm actually going to draw one of the most insane things ever and you guys are about to be really surprised. And as you can see, I made a giant red thing. And now I need to add the finishing touches. And I think I'm done drawing it. I just drew a subscribe button. And this is definitely a sign, guys. You all need to subscribe to the channel right now. Please subscribe. A lot of you guys watch all the videos, but you're not subscribed, so please subscribe. I'll give you three seconds. And at the end of the countdown, you need to subscribe, so get ready. Three, two, one, and thank you for subscribing. And anyways, let's see what Smirky has drawn, and what on earth is this thing? This is like a crazy piglin monster with 
brown pants? I don't even know what this thing is. But I think he's pulling the lever. And what on earth are these things? He spotted a bunch of piglet monsters. These things are super cool mutant piglins. And I think we need to pull our lever for our mob now. And I really hope this turns into something cool. So let's pull this right now. And oh my gosh, look at this thing. It did exactly what I drew, but made it even cooler. And okay, I think we're definitely gonna win. Because look at this guy compared to Smirky's mobs. And okay, we might have to pull this lever a few more times. Because I just realized Smirky has a bunch of mobs. Let's flip this lever like 10 more times. So let's go. And look, we got like 10 of these black stone golems. And ah, uh, Smirky, I don't think you're gonna win. Are you ready to drop the walls though? Yes, I am. Let's go. All right, let's go. And look, our mobs are gonna start fighting now. Whoa, what is this? Cardi, are these black stone mobs? Yes, they are. They're black stone golems and they have crazy fire going across their entire body and they're just throwing your piglins around. Oh my gosh, and almost all of them are gone. Cardi, what is happening? This is really sad for you. I think this is gonna be one of the easiest wins ever for me and there we go. That was the easiest round ever and I just won the final round. Oh my gosh, Cardi, how did you win like every round and how did you draw a way better mob? You literally put a sub button here. People should probably do that, right? Yeah, they should do that, but don't leave. There's still one more mob battle. That is the most insane yet. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But there's bats and roulette wheels. This means whatever color you shoot on the roulette wheel is what color of mob that spawns in. But little does Smirky know that behind my roulette wheel is a cheat sheet. This means I'll be able to counter exactly what colors he chooses. So, Smirky, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, Cordy, and I'm totally gonna choose way better colors than you. We will see about that, Smirky, but let the battle officially begin. And now that the mob battle has officially begun, we have this massive one-way glass wall here. This means I'll be able to see which color Smirky's gonna shoot on that roulette wheel. And then, of course, I'm gonna go behind my roulette wheel, look at the cheat sheet, and pick the exact counter to his mob. So, it looks like Smirky's holding his bow, but what color? on the roulette wheel is he planning to shoot? And wait a second, look, it looks like Smirky's aiming up at that yellow or orange on the roulette wheel. Wait, that makes a lot of sense since Smirky's two favorite colors are yellow and orange. Well, I wonder which one that's gonna land on and let's see, and it looks like it landed on the yellow one and look at that, it turned to gray right when he hit it. And wait a second, it literally spotted a mutant blaze next to Smirky. And that is super crazy since he chose the yellow on the roulette wheel, it spotted a yellow mob and that yellow mob happens to be the fiery mutant blaze. And look, Smirky got the spotting and is spotting it a ton more. Well, mutant blazes are very powerful and normally I don't know how on earth I counter these guys. But luckily, like I said earlier, behind our giant roulette wheel is actually the cheat sheet. And if we look at this cheat sheet, I'll tell you how to read this thing. So since Smirky chose yellow and there's this arrow next to the yellow, whatever's on the left of the arrow is actually the exact counter. So if I read this correctly, since Smirky chose the yellow, that means I have to choose the light blue and that will be the exact counter mob. And that actually kind of makes sense. Since Smirky's yellow blazes are made out of fire and this cheat sheet tells me to choose the blue color, that means that I'm probably gonna get a water mob that will literally put out the fire of Smirky's blazes. So let me just grab my bow and let's go over to the shooting place. And then I'm just gonna go up here and aim at the blue. And then I'm just gonna let this go and hopefully this hits. And yes, I think it hit because look at that. It just turned to gray. Now we can go up to this chest and open this thing. And let's see what's inside. And oh my gosh, there's a bunch of water stuff in here. So it looks like we got entrails. And then we even got the spawn egg called man of water. I think that's gonna be a crazy water mob. And we also got some water buckets. And the reason I think it gave us all these water buckets is because it wants us to put a giant water pool on our side. So let me do that. I just dug out this really big hole and now let's go fill this with water. And boom, it's all filled with water now. And now we can actually start to spawn in our super cool light blue mobs. And the first mob we got is the Entral. So let's spawn this in and see what it is. And wait a second, this is the Ocean God mob. Look at this thing. It is so cool. And as you can see, there's even a trident on its head. This thing has the powers to manipulate water and he is is super duper OP. This guy's actually going to be the perfect counter for these blazes, but wait. I also have the man of water spawn egg. Wait, let's see what this guy is. 
And wait a second, that's exactly what the name is. It's just a man made out of water. Okay, this is definitely, definitely the perfect counter for Smirky's mobs. These guys are made out of fire, and this guy is just made out of water. And since we have this massive pool, I guess let's just spawn a bunch of these man of water in this pool. And look, we got an entire army of these guys, and now let's just spawn some of these end troll monsters. And oh my gosh, this is the craziest water army I've ever seen in my life. If Smirky's blazes even last for more than a minute, I would honestly be surprised, because they're going to be put out immediately. And, um, Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? My mob army is going super duper good, Cardi. I got some really good mobs. Wow, that sounds really cool, Smirky, but what color on the wheel did you choose? Can you please tell me? Well, Cardi, let me tell you, it is a fire mob, but you're never gonna guess what fire mob it was. Wait, so you chose a fire mob? That probably means you chose yellow on the roulette wheel. Uh, yeah, it does, but you are never ever, ever, ever gonna guess what yellow mob it was. Smirky, it was probably a mutant blaze or something. That's the only yellow mob I could think of. Really, Cardi? That's the only yellow mob that's such a popular color. Ah, uh, Smirky, I guess it's just a lucky guess. Wait, am I actually right? Yes, you are. I can't believe it. Well, I have a bunch of water mobs, so that means your blazes are gonna be put out of fire immediately. That means I'm definitely gonna win. Oh, no, that's not good. Well, hopefully my blazes will boil your water. Well, we're gonna see if that that's actually gonna happen. Smirky, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am. All right, then. Let's go. And let's go. And you are totally gonna be defeated, Cardi. Are you sure, Smirky? You guys, look at my water bombs. They're destroying your blazes. Uh, aren't they destroying my blazes? Because not a single blaze has died. Ah, uh, Smirky, literally look at your blazes. They're drowning in the water right now. Wait, you might be right about that. Oh my gosh. There's so many water attacks everywhere. There's like a ton of water particles and uh oh i think your blazes are starting to die wait you're right about that look at it there are so many blaze rounds all along the floor and it's like raining blaze rounds oh my gosh did i already win did you already win your guys were literally jumping in celebration did you see that yeah i saw that smirk yet look around the entire arena it's just a bunch of blaze rounds and fire and i think all of your blazes died oh my gosh i can't believe it okay hopefully i pick a way better mob on the roulette wheel next time. Yeah, you better, Smirky, because this is only just getting started and the mobs are gonna get even crazier, so let's reset the arena. And there we go, I just won the first round. And remember, guys, we are going to win all the rest of these rounds because of my cheat sheet behind my roulette wheel. But anyways, let's just start off by cheating with this one-way glass wall and seeing what Smirky's gonna shoot. And wait, what is he aiming at? It looks like he's holding his bow and he's looking up at the blue or the purple one. So I guess let's just see which one he's gonna shoot it looks like he shot the blue one because look it just went gray and wait a second i wonder what kind of blue mob is gonna spawn in and look at this that actually worked and it looks like it spotted a bunch of blue and snowy mobs okay that is actually pretty cool i just look at these guys this guy's literally made out of a bunch of blue ice and that snow goal is made out of white snow and this giant warrior is made out of white snow too and he even has giant blue weapons and that is actually pretty cool and even though that that snowman isn't blue. I think he has an attack where he throws blue ice, so I guess he technically counts as a blue mob. And now all of these mobs are really cool, but remember, guys, we can actually look at the back of our roulette wheel, and we'll figure out how to counter these guys exactly. Let's go back here and look for the blue color. And it looks like blue is right there. So what's on the left of blue? It looks like red is on the left of blue, so that means we're gonna have to shoot the red on this roulette wheel, and that should spot in the exact counter of those snow mobs. And wait, that actually it does make a lot of sense since those snow mobs are made out of snow and ice if i get a red mob that has a bunch of fire attacks it should melt those guys so let's just head over to our roulette wheel and go down here with our bow now which one did we have to shoot again i think it was the red one so let's aim our bow at the red because we cannot miss this if we miss this we're not gonna have the exact counter so okay let me just shoot this right now and let's go i just hit it it all turned gray so now let's go to our chest and see what we got. So let's open this chest and it looks like we got a Ignis mob, a Netherite monstrosity mob, and a fire dragon. Wait, these are all fire mobs, I think. Wait, let's spawn in this fire dragon first. And what does this look like? And oh my gosh, it's exactly what I thought it was. It's a fire dragon. It's literally red. Wait, let's spawn in a bunch more of these guys. And look, they're all different sizes and different colors. We even have super tiny little green dragons. Well, these guys are probably gonna be super duper OP 
and they should definitely melt all these snow creatures. And look at them fly. They are literally majestic when they fly. Okay, we have to spot in our other two mobs, though. So we have the netherite monstrosity, and oh my gosh. Everyone knows the netherite monstrosity. It's super cool. It's made out of netherite, and it has crazy fire lava attacks because it's from the nether. And then last but not least, we have the ignis mob, and this is one of my favorite mobs ever. It is also a nether mob, and it is made out of nether bricks, fire, and a bunch of cool other stuff. And this guy has some of the craziest fire attacks out of all these mobs, but I mean, all of these mobs are fire mobs, so it should be all pretty OP. And anyway, Smokey, how is your army going? Because I think you're definitely gonna lose. I'm definitely gonna lose, Cardi. You're definitely gonna lose. Wait, why do you think I'm gonna lose, Smokey? Do you even know what mobs I have? I have no idea what mobs you have, but I know I have the better ones. Alright, uh, okay, Smokey, let me take a guess at what color you shot on the roulette wheel. And I bet you shot the blue one. Uh, how do you know? What? Well, Smokey, it's just a lucky guess, and I actually shot the red one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And anyway, Smokey, are we ready to drop the walls? Because I think our mobs are fighting. Yes, I'm ready to drop the walls. Then let's go and look at our mobs fighting. What kind of mobs did you spot in? Smokey, I have a bunch of red mobs from the red color on the roulette wheel, and I think they're killing all of your snowy and ice mobs super fast. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. These mobs are actually the perfect counters. Since your mobs are made out of snow and ice, and mine are made out of fire, I think they're destroying your mobs completely. What? So I thought my mobs were super duper strong, but you have fire dragons, you have a fire knight, and a fire netherite monster? Yes, I do, Smokey. And look at all of the fire that my mobs are spotting it everywhere. This is actually so crazy because all of your mobs are just burning to death. I know it's crazy. It's insane. Look at the top of the screen too. My netherite monstrosity and my ignis mob have barely taken any damage. I can't believe it. Okay, my snowman need to do more damage. Come on, you guys are actually doing damage. Ah, uh, Smirky, no, they're not. They're the ones taking damage because they're getting obliterated by my netherite monstrosity. He's just crushing the floor. Wait, I think it's about to kill two of them any second now. Well, Smirky, I think two of your mobs have died and the last one just died and do you have any mobs left? Oh yeah, you have this tiny little snow golem. Yeah, he's gonna survive. Just watch that. Ah, uh, Smirky, are you sure about that? Because look at my guy shooting lava at it and it's dead, Smirky. He literally dropped his snowballs on the ground and now they're gone. Yeah, they just got burnt. This is bad for you and that means I just won the second round. Sorry, ready to move on to the third round? Yes, I am, Cardi. Let's go. And there we go. I just won another round, and I am super excited to move on to these next rounds. And anyways, let's just jump straight to this next one, and what color is Smirky gonna shoot? And it looks like he's holding some sort of crossbow, and it looks like he might be looking towards the pink color. And that means when he shoots the pink, it should turn gray and spawn in a crazy pink mob. So let's see, and he shot it. And wait, I think the wheel just turned to gray, and look at this mobs. It looks like it spotted two different pink mobs, and this one's a mutant hoglin, and that one is a giant Fluto Queen mob, and look at that. That one is super pink, and the mutant hoglin is also kind of pink. Both of these mobs are super duper OP, though, so this is pretty bad for me. Well, it would be bad for me if I didn't have my cheat sheets. Let's go take a look at that and find the pink on here, and it looks like pink is right here, and if we look to the left of pink, it looks like we're gonna need to choose the purple color, and I wonder why why that is, I mean, that pink did spawn in, like, some alien mutant mobs for Smirky, but what kind of mobs is purple gonna spawn in? Like, maybe some crazy cosmic space mob or something like that? But I guess we're just gonna have to see. So let me grab myself a bow and let's just go up to where we're gonna shoot this thing and let's aim towards purple. And I am really hoping that there's gonna be crazy stuff with this purple chest, but first, let me just make sure I can actually hit this thing and not miss and I think this should be good. Now let's just let go and boom. It just turned to gray, so now we can go up to this chest and check what's inside. And it should be crazy purple mobs. And wait, what are these things? Wait, let's take these out of the chest real quick. And it looks like we have a mob called a Charis and a Cosmic Fiend. Wait, what are these mobs? Wait, let me spot at the Charis first. And uh, what is this thing? This is just some crazy purple alien monster. It almost looks like a spider, but it has like six legs and these super sharp nails and spikes on his arms. Wait, this is actually pretty cool. Let me go and survive 
combo near this thing in. Uh, hello, mister. What are you doing? Why are you walking towards me like that? And whoa, it just dropped a bomb on me and I just blew up. Okay, this guy is clearly a lot more powerful than he seems. But I think that means we have to test our other purple mob. And wait, what kind of mob is this gonna be? I guess let me just spot it right here. And oh my gosh, this is the Cosmic Fiend. I just realized that I knew the name of it, but I forgot that the Cosmic Fiend is this mob. This is literally the most powerful mob in Minecraft. Well, one of them at least. And it is super purple and blue and super OP. I mean, just look at it. It's literally massive. Its eye is literally probably bigger than my entire body. Now that is cool. And there is almost a 0% chance this Cosmic Fiend isn't gonna let me win the mob battle. So I'm just gonna go around and spot in a couple more of these Charis alien mobs. And hopefully my Cosmic Fiend won't attack these guys. So let's just go like this and spawn one more right here. And look, we got like five of these crazy alien spiders and one giant Cosmic Fiend. And anyway, Smirky, how is your army going right now? Oh, wait, I think my mobs despawned, Cordy. Okay, I'm gonna have to respawn in my mobs. Wait, Smirky, don't spawn in your mobs because I think my Cosmic Fiend is gonna attack them. Your, your co cosmic feed, Cardi? I'm not scared of that. And wait, Smirky, it's coming towards the wall and Smirky, I think my cosmic feed's attacking your mobs. What the heck? You're right. And I think it's killing my mobs pretty quickly. Yeah, Smirky, it definitely isn't. Look at the crazy explosions and the land that my cosmic feed is eating right now. Oh my gosh, you're right. And it's killing all my mobs. I don't know how my hoglins are still alive. Smirky, this is so sad. You should have not chose the pink on the roulette wheel. Pink sucks. Oh, uh, it doesn't actually. Yeah, I'm smirky because look at your mobs. They're just getting annihilated. You should have chose purple like me. Oh my gosh. I probably should have. Maybe I just aimed wrong. Yes, you definitely are smirky. And I think all of your mobs fell off. Look at that. And all of my mobs are still on the arena. And that means purple just won that round of the mob battle. I can't believe it, Cardi. Well, that's pretty sad for you. And look at all this purple attacks. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of these. And anyway, Smirky, next round is actually gonna be the last round we're gonna do. So that means if you don't win, I'm going to completely win the mob battle. The last round? What? That's crazy. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna win because I know what color I'm gonna do. All right, Smirky, let's reset the arena. And boom, now we are finally on the final round of the mob battle. And I am super excited for this final round because this is the craziest round yet. We have some crazy mobs left on the roulette wheel and I cannot wait to see See which kind of counters I'm gonna have to do. But anyways, let's just look at Smirky and what color is he aiming at this time? It looks like he might be looking at the green on the roulette wheel. Wait, green is my color. No way, Smirky's trying to shoot my color. That is so messed up. And wait, and oh my gosh, look at all these green mobs that just spawned in. It looks like there's a massive tall green creeper right there. A giant big creeper right there. And then there's a giant green earth dinosaur right in the middle. Well, all of these monsters are super duper cool looking. But there's one thing about them all that actually means that I could counter them perfectly. Since this guy in the middle is a green grass dinosaur, if I get a fire mob, I could probably burn him to death. And then since both of the other mobs are creepers, if they're set on fire, they will literally just blow up and that means it'll be an easy win for me. So anyways, let's just go see what color I actually have to choose. And it looks like Smirky chose the green one, so I'm gonna have to choose orange. And that actually confirms my theory because orange is a color of fire. So that probably means I'm about to get some fire mobs. So let's get down here with our bow and we gotta shoot the orange one, right? So let me just aim at this thing. Here we go, and there we go. We hit it. It just turned gray and that means we can go loot the chest. And what's gonna be inside here? And wait, what the heck? There's a subscribe button right above the chest. I think this has to be a sign and I want all of you guys to subscribe right now. And once you subscribe, I'll actually look inside the this chest to see what crazy OP boss we get. So please subscribe, everybody. So I'm gonna give me three seconds right now to subscribe. Ready? Three, two, one, and thank you for subscribing. Now we can look inside of this chest and what orange mobs are we getting? And look, we got both the mobs. Wait, let me take these guys and let's head down here. So it looks like we got a mob called an electric and this spawning is actually yellow, but it looks like there's some sort of orange stick inside of this. And look, it just has a bunch of electricity particles everywhere and this electricity ball around it. Well, that's pretty cool. But now let's go over here and spawn in a frost magma. And wait, look at this mob. This is a combination of 
blue and orange. That is so cool. That's a magma body and blue ice spikes all around it. Wait, let's spot in a bunch of those guys all around here. And let's spot in a bunch of the electric heads. These guys are super cool. And they should definitely win me this final round of the mob battle. And anyway, Smokey, how is your mob army going? Oh my gosh, I think my mobs just spawned once again. Wait, so Smokey, so you can have to spawn them in? Uh, yeah, I will have to spawn them in. And wait, you're spawning them in, Smokey, and I think my mobs are trying to attack them through the wall. They're literally spawning in lightning. Wait, how are they dropping ice spikes in? I think they killed a few already, okay? I need to spawn some more then. Wait, I'm gonna have to make a big hole in the wall so my mobs can go through and attack your mobs. And there we go. The battle's beginning. Let's go, and you are about to lose, Cardi. Uh, what do you mean? I'm about to lose, Smokey. It looks like you're about to lose because there's literally fire tornadoes killing your mobs. Wait, you're right about that. Look how much fire there was. But wait, look at the boss bars. Your mobs are losing so much health. Yeah, Smokey, but I think all your mobs are dead besides a few dinosaurs. So who's the real one losing here? Oh, it might be me. You might be right about that. Uh-oh. And Smokey, there's only like two of your dinosaurs right there and then one there. And I think all the rest of your mobs are dead. Wait, what? What? Oh my gosh, come on, dinosaurs. You gotta clutch up and kill like 20 mobs. And Smokey, this is literally so crazy because look everywhere. This entire arena is turning to fire, ice, and magma, and there's huge explosions. That is so cool, but it kind of sucks for my mobs because where are my mobs? Smokey, they're all dead. That's where they are. This is crazy. I just won the mob battle, I think. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Look at the wall, too. They did a crazy glass effect to it. Wait, what? They did a glass effect to the wall? Wait, oh, that's really weird, Smirky. Wait, what? Uh, it's air, and then on this side, it's bedrock, but wait, when you right-click it, it's glass. What the heck is this, Cardi? Okay, I have to admit something, Smirky. This is actually not a normal bedrock wall. This is one-way glass because I was cheating. What? Oh my gosh, I do not forgive you, Cardi. Are you serious? I'm sorry for cheating, Smirky, but that's not it. I gotta show you something else. Smirky, this is a cheat cheat. I was using the entire time so I could count to your colors that you chose exactly. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, Cardi. Ah, uh, Smirky, I'll give you the window as long as you forgive me. All right, I forgive you, Cardi. Thanks everyone for watching the video and please subscribe.